Hey guys, it's Joe. In this video, I'll be talking to you about how to fine tune the anti phishing policies in Microsoft Defender for Office. To get started, navigate to the Microsoft Defender XDR portal. On the left navigation, click Email Collaboration, Policies and Rules, Threat Policies, and then that will land us into the policy we want to look at, which is the anti phishing policy. Now, I always recommend using the built-in preset policies first, but if for some reason you're actually using custom policies, then we can go ahead and um, create a new policy, or if you have an existing policy, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. If you've been using the default phishing threshold of one, it might be time to go ahead and start looking at increasing that to two or three to get more aggressive. You also wanna periodically review the users that you're prevent protecting from impersonation. So this would be the display name portion of the email address. You also want to configure it to protect your domain names. And occasionally you may need to add allow, allowed senders here as well. We do recommend enabling mailbox intelligence and mailbox intelligence for impersonations and spoof intelligence. Finally, you'll want to configure the actions. You'll want to configure quarantine for these. And you can also create a custom quarantine policy so that an admin has to review before the user releases that. We do recommend going with the default of if the DMARC policy is set to reject, to reject that message, and to enable all the safety tips. Now, it is super important to periodically review the impersonation reports. You can find a, a link to that at the top of the policies here where it says view impersonations. Now, you may be wondering, what's the difference between the standard and strict preset as it relates to your custom policy? If you were using standard and the message was blocked by spoof intelligence, it would be sent to the junk folder. If you're using the strict preset, it would be sent to the quarantine. So that's the primary difference between the presets. To find this documentation and other defaults, browse to this QR code or check the link in the accompanying blog article. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Those are just some of the quick tips on configuring your anti-phishing policies. Please leave us feedback and have a great day.